Oh, look at him. Just, just falling asleep. You know, they, they really gotta be more att attention these days. Oh, okay, okay, I'm ready. Yeah, there you go, Mario. That's, that's better, that's better. Mm -mm. Hey, everybody, it's Megan Boxerman, but you probably knew that already, and welcome back for more Let's Play Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, stuff happened, and, well, uh, we got into a puzzling situation in the grotto, uh, in which we could not use the new ability that we unlocked, the boat move, which allows us to, uh, freely sail onto the seven seas without getting pit by piranhas, because apparently, uh, they don't really like Mario's, they don't really like, uh, they like Mario Butt, but they don't like Sailboat Mario Butt. And in this episode, I realize that the place where we're supposed to use it is in here. Yeah, I kind of forgot up there. It's 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 the room where Nintendo Logic happens. Yeah, I forgot. I for a little tiny bit of time, I forgot this room even existed. So that wasn't very pleasant. But now we can pretty much sail anywhere in in the grotto so it's it's pretty it's pretty neat honestly so now we can go anywhere and if you go down here uh we get to splash in here which is an earlier area which i don't think you thought we'd be able to go into and all these holes that are in uh the and they're in the walls uh allow you to travel to different places other holes that aren't in the walls, you can't travel to those specific places. However, over here, there is a place, there are a docked pirate ship, that allows one to get a weird looking wrench thing. Now, uh, what does this weird looking wrench thing do? Well, I'll tell you once we get over there. Well, it allows oneself to pull this specific handle that, on the center of your screen. But we're, well, we can't actually dock ourselves in this state, so we have to find an alternative way to get around here. Which might be a problem, because we can't go Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild style and, like, sail back up the way, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to get over there by land. And, uh, I know exactly the place to do so. Why it's over here, of course. What, what did you think you'd expect? So, now we can traverse through the land uh, and get back over to the work shaft. And once we get to the work shaft, we can unlock the gates that were in the water. So now we can explore m even more of the grotto. So, I'll see you guys then. Okay, guys, we're back. And on the other side of this chasm, we finally have the gate with the gate handle. And if we put it down... It rises up the gates, and it looks like they're really rusty on the bottom. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, that freaky voice is making noise again. The ghost must be nearby. So now, if we go back to uh, the boat deck, then we can see that we can now go through the previously unlocked gates. So, with that out of the way, uh... I believe if we go over here, we, yeah, we can't go over there. Although I'm kind of afraid to go down the waterfall, though, because there's a there's a hole on the other side over here. But uh, if we go down here, then it drops us up right over here. So with that out of the way, we can now go through the gates, and a whole new world opens up to us as now we can go over here and do certain things. Like, uh, huh. And now we can explore more of the sea. Because that's pretty much the theme. It's, the, you know, the pirate theme. So we can go through this hole in the wall over here. And past this area. So I, I really like this part of the game. Uh, we have these paper waves, which have a really neat effect to them. Again, more paper stuff. And if you get knocked over by one, then you'll lose some health or something. Actually, actually no, you'll... You'll be pushed back all the way until the waves disintegrate. So, it's not a very good idea to get swept away by one. Okay. Also, I really like the view in the background. That's, that's just... It's really good. Like, mm, uh, Visuals! Only possible on the Nintendo GameCube. Again. Mm. Also, it's kind of sad that we can't go through this crack, which is clearly going to be 
accessible by old Paper Mario over here, but oh well. I would have liked to explore the vast ocean again, like in like in uh, Breath of the Wild. Anyways, hey, someone's coming! They're floating on water. Where am I? Huh? What? Let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I, I can't breathe, guys. There's a whole book of the toads. Is that a? Is that a boat? Hey, over here! Save us, please! Yeah, it's a whole bucket of toads. They were lost in here for thousands of years. Okay, maybe not thousands, but like, like decades. They must be living in here for the rest of their lives. What is that? Well, that's pointless. Oh, you're kidding me? Read a paper. I just can't breathe here. Here's Robert. What is that? Well, that's pointless. And now they're just repeating. <laughs> and the one that says that you can't breathe is saying, I still can't breathe here. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, they've, they've been stuck in this little tiny boat for the rest of their lives. It's great. <clears throat> Oh, that reminds me, uh, joke of the day. How old is Tony the Tiger? Great! Uh, yeah, I got that, got that one from Uncle Grandpa. Anyways, go down this pipe, you go into the background and go to this really cool looking ship. Man, I am the captain of ship rocking boat, boat thing. Yay! Uh, uh, amongst m many pioneers. Ta-da! Now, ugh, if you go behind the toads, which don't say anything, by the way, and do some uh, precarious platforming, that you may find yourself over to this pipe, which takes you all the way over here, and also brings you to this p to another flight panel, which we haven't seen in a long time. Now that I think about it, so uh, we can go flying away, and mm, eventually we can land ourselves on one of the platforms and not over there because apparently t the toad walls are counted as walls so what we want to do is land ourselves on one of the three platforms uh, well, I mean two not three and they'll bring us to each of these pipes and we have to hit the switches that are near on the pipes each switch that we do brings up some uh, barrels and the more barrels we bring up uh, the more barrels we'll bring up, then the closer we'll get to having the toads free from their lives. Of sitting on that dank danky little pirate ship. Like, man, that, that must be cool sometimes. Although, it also must be kind of frightening. So we'll fly away to the second island over here. Whoa. So you gotta actually press B right so that you can get to the different islands, which I like. And now, the two other... The two other barrels pop up, and... I'm gonna do this jingle play, but... Hey! We can cross over now! Hey! Hey! What are we waiting for? Let's go! The other one. Oh no! Why are they here? We remember we saw them back in chapter three. Oh no! See, they're right there with the toads. Oh man! I guess when they went away on their cruise dock, it also got shipwrecked by the ghost and ended up on Keel Hall Key just before we did. Because remember, they did it back in chapter three, and that was quite some time ago. So, makes sense why they're over here. Logic. I know how you did it, but you saved us. We came here looking for the pirate treasure, and then, well, our ship got surrounded by ghosts on the ocean, and we all ended up here. Hey, same us. And probably same for Francesca and Frankie. Hey, hey, aren't you Mario? It's me, me, Don Pianta's daughter, Francesca. Yeah, and Frankie's here too. After my dad forgives, we set on a trip. Yeah, like we saw in back in chapter 3. We've gotten a little too close to this island, and now look at us. See, I was right. Still in the place of the rumors about coaches, but all true, which means he's nearby. Hey, so, by the way, who why are you here? Don't tell me Daddy had you come here to take us back. <laughs> no, no, I have to go back to the Crystal Star. What, are you after pirate treasure because I can take the Crystal Star? Well, I think the treasure is right here, watched by Cortex and Spirit. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be able to take care of him, though. You look tough. Besides, Cortex is the only one that checked on that raft, so snack him one for me. Ooh. Frankie, you got anything to say? Frankie and I are just in love anytime, anywhere. No matter how, how dank. <laughs> Uh, hey, Puddin' Pie, cool it, will ya? I mean, come on, babe. Anyways, watch it. <laughs> uh, same thing. Same thing. Uh, what, hey, wait, wait, wait a sec. What's this little guy doing over here? Oh, 
we ever get back to the surface? I smell so weird down here. <laughs> it's like, that's probably what I would say if I was trapped down here. <laughs> it smells so weird. Okay, what about you? Finish something up for me. You got here how? But what did you have to turn into a boat or an airplane to do all that? And then, get out here and trade enough for us. How do we get out? Well, you go and fight Cortez and we'll take him a way out. How about that? Unfortunately, we can't talk to all of these. Like, fight, 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 fight. It would be pretty, uh, unreachable because there's like a zillion packs of That would take like three whole days, probably longer. But oh no, look at this wretched pirate ship. But whoa! Wait, who who was it? Who is that? Oh, it's Four Eyes. Whoa! Did I surprise you? Yeah, sorry about that. See, I actually followed you here, but I got lost along the way, and, uh, uh, well, anyway, I followed this path, and I finally caught up with you, and then, listen, just forget it, okay? I'm sure the Crystal Star is inside that pirate ship, and the Pirate King Course is in there, too, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, probably. No big deal, though, right? You can take him, big guy. We're counting on you. Boy, I knew it sure am, and so is Grotus. Grotus? Hold on. Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on, Grotus? Hold on, Grotus? Whoa, sorry, what did I say? Uh, forget it, I'll, I'll just be here so I don't get away. Uh, no, don't worry, guys. He's only talking about, uh, grated cheese. Yeah. Yeah, gr grated cheese. Uh, just, gr just grated cheese. Uh, <laughs> Go. Uh, excuse us. Over here, we have some, uh, precarious platforming. Again, and... Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that it went all the way over there. Over here, uh... What's the point of this island? Like, seriously, what's the point of this island? What's the... Oh, right, this is, this is used for later on in the chapter. It's just... But now that we're not in the story so far, it's just kind of there. Look over up here, not only do we look su... Not only look super rad on this f freaking ship, like, I am the captain of the ghost ship! da 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 Again. But we also have the captain's quarters and... If you know about Cortez, the Pirate King, he's gonna be in here, in the, in the captain's quarters. So, I'll leave that to next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, where we're going to be going into Cortex's secret lair in the next episode, and finally getting the Crystal Star. Because I don't really want to see what plays out after the fight, because, you know, this video is already kind of long, so... Yeah... Anyways, I'll see you guys then. You probably knew the already, so I'll just cut it short here. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. And dang, this music is good. I never men mentioned that, but yeah.